you uh, uh, how 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 are you oh, that's a relief to hear i'm sorry i i must have passed out here on the sofa and oh, i look like a wreck i'm not even properly dressed to be to be working late night or not there's no excuse for me to look improper like this i, I was just having a bad dream is all no, no, by all means, go ahead if you'd like to... If you'd like to sit by my side. Most certainly, I'm most certainly happy with that. Th there's a blanket nearby as well. Just in case you want to wrap yourself up and keep yourself warm and... Oh, bless you. Thank you. I... I could do have a blanket wrapped around myself as well. I really appreciate it. Oh, and you're giving me a hug as well, is it... Is it your turn to pamper me? <laughs> oh, big hug for you as well. All the big hugs for you. Oh, about my d dream. Well, I don't want to bore you with the details. It's nothing that you have to fret about. Uh, I was just having a... Just an unpleasant dream. It, it seems to be... A, bit of a recurring one. No, no, not not every night. Nothing like that. It's just every now and again. I suppose it's a dream from, well, my old home. A dream to do with me being back in my old home and, of course, not wanting to be there again. I just... I just seem to be a bit too hesitant to go back for any reason. I just don't see the point in going back, you know, but I'm just worried that in the very, very unlikely chance that someone back there might find me, that they'll try and take me back home, so to speak. I... I, I just... I really don't want that. I really wouldn't want that to happen. I... I, I don't want to go back. Why would I? I've... I've got everything I need here. It's it's a wonderful, wonderful world with, of course, a job that I'm holding down here. I, I have shelter, I'm fed, and you help me with, well, filling up my pockets with a, a fair wage, so I'm financially stable. Um, and of course, well, yes, I've got you here too, so... I absolutely have a purpose, you know? I, I, I feel like I belong here. I feel contempt. I feel safe. I, I feel all of these things here. It's a happy life I'm living. Uh, still, just... I suppose the... The weights of the past are still trying to... Pull me down. Especially in the form of dreams, you know? still trying to kind of latch onto me and fill me with dread dreadful thoughts about going back oh I, again I, I'd rather not go into detail about all of the things that were going on back there but again I've, as I've told you before as I've told you before they they wouldn't approve of this life they wouldn't approve of me being a, a butler instead. They wouldn't approve of me being a servant, cleaning and painting and being my, well, I, I would like to think, supportive self. They wouldn't approve of that. That would just be getting in the way of progress for them, you know. It's very, 
very restrictive over there. Very restrictive and very unpleasant. I I just spent far too much time over there. Well, maybe it, it felt like felt like far too much time over there. I maybe I should have just escaped a lot sooner. But well, I don't know. I've I've still got plenty of years in me. I've got decades in me. I'm I'm sure that I'll live a long life. I'm I'm not even. I've not even hit midlife yet. Well, even then, even then, you know, I, I've, I've still got, I've still got plenty of pep in me. So, last thing I'd want is to be going back there and putting that in the line either. I don't want to be r robbed of the the beauties and the the excitement of the world, all of the the love and the the desire and. So much, so much, so many beautiful things that I've yet to experience. Much of it is here in this world. I, I just can't go back. I, I really, I really can't. It's... Oh, thank you. Thank you for holding my hand. Oh, I need it more than ever right now. I hope that... I hope that... They will never find me. And I know that's a rather unpleasant thing to say, but I honestly mean it. I hope they never find me. I have no clue what happened ever since I left. I just packed up my things and... In the dead of night, I... I, I got out. Got away. Slipped away and... This is after I found this, uh, means of travel, let's say. And these means of travel brought me to, well, to this new world. <laughs> Such a beautiful world it is, so beautiful and full of life, full of freedom as well. That's what I crave, I just crave for freedom. But, again, I suppose the scars from the past are still... They still flare, they still ache. Metaphorically, of course, I'm speaking in allegories, as, as I'm sure you know. Mm. I'm, I'm sure I can... I'm sure I can spend a bit of time doing some work tomorrow to get my mind off things, and... and I, I can prepare the laundry, for instance. First thing in the morning, prepare the laundry. Um, sort out your breakfast, of course, as well. That's always important. Um, maybe, maybe make some plans for future visits for certain... Are you sure? Uh, you, you don't have to make me take the day off. It's, it's more than fine. I, I really don't mind. I... Are, are you absolutely sure, though? Forgive me for asking twice, at least. I, I, only you've... Only if you're okay with that. I mean, I've, I mean, I've been working. I'd like to think that I've been doing a pretty good job of uh, keeping up with things. I mean, I've been working three, three weeks in a row now. That's that's probably a record for me. I, I don't need to let my motivation kind of dwindle because of taking a break. Well, you, well, you know me. You know me. I I love being. Productive. I love making efforts and making, like, you know, doing my best and things like that. So you really don't have to. Are you sure? Okay, may maybe I've... Maybe I have gone by. Perhaps, uh, perhaps a bit too long. Without a break. I mean, I suppose others don't work this much. Without having some kind of break in between. I, I'm, I'm a workaholic. What, what can I say? I... <laughs> I'm a workaholic, but a proud one. But only if, if, if you're comfortable with me having a break, if that's what you insist, then, well, I suppose I, I really should look after myself a bit more and give that a try. Don't want to be skipping out on the exercises in the process, whether I'm having a break or not, like... I've got to see if I can break my break my record. How many, how many pounds did I lift in my room? 
trying to think how much weight I, I kind of pushed to my room, you know, you know, with the, the barbells and lifting those. I can't quite remember how much it was, let me think. Oh, now you're cuddling my arm, are you trying to see if I'm still... <laughs> still making sure that I'm not losing muscle mass, are you? <laughs> I, I'm joking, I, I'm just teasing you a bit. I certainly don't mind you hugging my arm, of course, and I certainly don't mind being wrapped up in a blanket with you as well. It's always wonderful to be in your embrace, especially. You wish to rub my face. <laughs> I'm, I'm flattered that you'd ask. <laughs> certainly, certainly. If if you think that would help me after after a unpleasant dream like that cropping up on me, I, I should just call it what it is. It was a nightmare. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't kind of bottle these things up. I'm a, I'm a bit of a hypocrite in that regard. I know. I know. I tell you not to. Not to bottle these things up, but but I. Mm. Oh, you have soft hands, such soft hands. <laughs> well, I I already knew this, I know, but uh, they just feel especially soft right now. Oh, so. Soothing and comforting to have my face stroked by you. And oh, now you're stroking my hair. Am I a puppy to you? <laughs> um, uh, it's very comforting, though, I must admit. Very comforting indeed. Mm. Oh, by all means, you continue as much as you'd like. I I really don't mind you doing this. I'm I'm really grateful. I'm always grateful for everything, you know. I suppose it's I suppose it's true that sometimes we need to let ourselves be pampered from time to time. I mean I make sure of that with you, of course. <laughs> but as for myself, perhaps perhaps I should let myself be be pampered a bit more when the time requires it, and you know, just it's just lovely to. Oh, oh, comfy, oh, so comfy. <laughs> Such a delicate hand, little tickling hand. <laughs> very soothing, very comforting. Bless me if I, if I fall asleep beside you. I hope that's not a problem. That's a relief. If you ever want to, you can always just cuddle up to me, and we can always fall asleep like usual, <laughs> like usual. It's. It's always a highlight. A highlight on many days when we're able to just fall asleep in each other's arms and, and I cuddle you as close to my heart as possible and keep you protected and safe, but it looks like now you're doing the same with me and all the stress is melting away as I speak. The unpleasant memories slowly slowly being washed like water on the side of a beach washed ashore <sighs> so comforting it's ever so comforting Thank you ever so much once again. I really, really appreciate it. Oh. 
I'm probably going to be falling asleep. Oh, anytime soon now, so if I do, I'll just see in advance that, that I hope you have a lovely rest, and I love, I love you so much, ever so much, you wouldn't believe how much that, that I, that I love you, I, I, really have we. Oh, <sighs> <sighs>